Good morning, Flagler County. I'm Rich Carroll. You're listening to Flagler's Morning News on Friday, May 19th. He's a frequent flyer. He's what we call a career criminal. A habitual offender is heading to prison for a decade. Amy Cherry has details. Michael Wyndham was found guilty by a jury of trafficking fentanyl and other drug counts in April. Police arrested Wyndham after he recklessly fled an attempted traffic stop in a rental vehicle at a Palm Coast apartment complex in January. R.J. Larizza is the state attorney for the Seventh Circuit. They caught him a little bit later. They also seized the duffel bag, and in the bag they found 10 grams of fentanyl, which was a trafficking amount. That led to the trafficking charge. They also found some methamphetamine and some crack cocaine. Larissa says prison will be a familiar place for Wyndham. He had a prior ag battery, two prior possession of firearm by convicted felon, prior ag assault with a deadly weapon. Larissa adds arrests and convictions like this reduce crime. We get career criminals off the street for as long as we can. And at least during that time period, they can't commit crimes. They can't recruit folks to commit crimes. They can't terrorize and otherwise intimidate good folks in the community. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. The Flagler County School Board votes to keep the Beltair Swim and Racquet Club open to the public. Supporters spoke at Tuesday's board meeting. If you close that facility, it would be a great travesty. I go to the Swim and Racquet Club because it helps me. It helps me with my disability. If you guys turn this pool down and shut it down, it's not only going to destroy myself, but it's going to destroy a lot of other seniors that go to this pool. This is our life. This is what's left. After serving our country, our community, our church, this is what we have now. It's our time. We need this. Without it, we'll slowly pass away. Unnoticed, unwanted, unneeded. I love that place. I hope you keep it going. The responsibility of my longevity lies within this board. Please, I want to live. Keep me alive. Don't kill me slowly. Board member Colleen Conklin made the motion to keep the club open with its membership model. And the other thing in regards to the frustration about the amount of time we spend on this when we should be spending time on other things, I would agree with you, but this is our job. We're responsible for this facility. Whether we like it or not, it doesn't matter. It's our facility. It's our responsibility. We may not want to talk about it. We have to deal with it. Board member Sally Hunt seconded the motion, but only for discussion. I'm one board member, but I find it difficult as we need to talk about things like safety and graduation rates. And I've already mentioned an alternative school model. And we're in here talking about, well, we need to, well, if only you marketed better or we need to do this. Again, I'm going to go back to finite time, finite resources. The motion passed three to two. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Rich Petschke. Who is Lori of the Lori Fund? She was a, she was a coach. That's Tony Tremblay. Lori Sullivan Petruno was not a basketball or football coach. She was an executive coach throughout her career, so she understood how to talk to people, phrase things. She would always say to me, because I'm uh, always all over the board, uh, you're in a position to listen. <laughs> Frank Petruno said that his wife knew how to stop people in their tracks just with her words. They were not angry or cross words. They were just the right words to get people to listen and to act. Lori died just over four years ago. Lifeline is on WNZF Saturday mornings at 9 and on the Flagler radio app. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. Palm Coast is celebrating National Tennis Month. May is National Tennis Month, and Palm Coast is celebrating with a series of free clinics for players ages 11 and up of all skill levels. Patrick Apollonia is the Communications and Marketing Director for the City of Palm Coast. In celebration of National Tennis Month, the City of Palm Coast will be hosting two days of free clinics at the Palm Coast Tennis Center on Saturday, May 20th and Saturday, May 27th from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. He adds Palm Coast has maintained a reputation for for world-class tennis facilities that are favorites to residents and visitors alike. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. The weekend is here and there's plenty of family fun to be had in Flagler County. This is Stacy with Fun for Augie Kids. 
Join the Sensory Storytime at the library. This story time is geared for children on the autism spectrum or who have ADD and their caregivers. This story time features a smaller group setting, visual schedule, books, and interactive songs and toys. Just in time for the heart of spring, at the Lowe's Woodworking Workshop, your mini DIYer will build a pop-up flower box. Kids will learn basic building skills while they create a gift that's sure to make your indoor garden smile. Palm Coast Parks and Recreations is hosting a free tennis clinic. Children ages 11 and up are invited to this clinic where they will meet instructors, work on some tennis drills, and play games. The second annual Hang 8 Dog Surf Extravaganza will be happening tomorrow. There will be a dog surfing contest, dog costume contest, dog kids kissing booth, vendors, and more. For more on these events and others, please visit us on our website at fun, the number four, augiekids.com. Have a great weekend. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.